Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So a while ago I picked up some small low ESR capacitors. They were 470 microfarad low ESR capacitors from Banggood and uh, they were pretty cheap. Two bucks for ten of them which is very nice. Uh, these could be used either on each ESC or just one on a complete setup and I really wanted to see how well does one do in just a complete setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the slow ESR capacitor on a complete build which is the Matek F405 CTR plus four Flycolor Raptor 30 amp ESCs and some Emax 2306 2400 KV motors. Now these motors are the harshest I've found and this is why I'm using them in this testing setup. And we're also going to be monitoring the FPV video feed as well as the oscilloscope noise to actually see if there was a difference before and after the low ASR capacitor and I just thought it'd be pretty fun to check it out. Later on, we'll do a complete shootout. And, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and check out these low ASRs capacitors that I found on Banggood. Two, two bucks for like 10, which is just insane. So enough talking, let's just jump into it and see what we get. Alright guys, so the results are in here and uh, they're pretty significant. Now this is the smallest rated low ESR capacitor you could find on Banggood and it's pretty good. Ten, ten of them for like two, two bucks and I think they have in the US warehouse also. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now they also have two versions. They also have a mic 1000 microfarad low ESR capacitor version. We're going to be testing that out later on. And also we're going to be putting a cap on each ESC. But let's take a look at just one 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor, what it can do to your overall system and if it's even worth it. So let's go ahead and check this out. So on the left here, we have the throttle noise test of the same setup, but without the low ESR capacitor. And as you can tell here, we got a 21 volt voltage spike and a 10 volt voltage drop and the bottom on the red here is just in red so you kind of see where all the voltage was and on the right is where we added the low ESR capacitor and as you can tell here there is a significant difference I mean I mean how much each of them is like 20 cents so this is 20 cents just to add on to your quadcopter look at the difference you could totally hear that too by the way this will overall keep the longevity of your MOSFETs and your components very well because check this out our voltage spike here was 21 volts here was only 18 volts so from 16.8 to 18 volts it's only like that's nothing like it's like one volt or two volts so that's very good to see that's very nice to see and uh, if we take a look down here, it's the same thing, just color coded. If you if you like to see it, whatever way you want to see it. And as you can tell here, it's it's completely dramatically kind of changed. Now I think a one thousand will do com even more, but we'll have to check that out. I'll leave a link to that one also down below. So let's go ahead and take a look at the aggressive flight maneuvers. How well did that do there? All right. So here is the Maytech with the fly color with no low ESR capacitor, and obviously all four motors connected. There we go. And now let's check it out with the low ESR capacitor. So if we go here, there we go, we'll add that there. So the right side is with the low ESR capacitor and the left side is without the low ESR capacitor. It's the complete same setup. Now, as you can tell here, it buffed out most of the voltage spikes, as you can tell here. Like here, you can, all, you can see it obviously here. Maximum was 22.6. Here we had 19.2 volt of a voltage spike. So that's very good also. That's really good also. Um, so that, that's very nice to see. And don't forget, this is a small one. So I wonder what's going to do with a thousand microfarad there. And if we take a look at the voltage drops here, this is without the low ESR capacitor. It went to a minimum of seven volts. So that's kind of low. But if you take a look with the low ESR capacitor, it gave it an extra 1.2 volts, which is pretty darn insane, actually. 
It's very good. Now, another thing to take a look at here, maybe we could see it better on the yellow. So you could tell right here, you see how much thicker the voltage fluctuation was here. Here it's buffed out most of them, as you can tell. It really, really buffed out most of that nasty high frequency noise. So it's really nice to see that. So it really does make a difference uh, in the FPV video feed slightly. This is a small one, so you know, don't expect much. So, but I mean, it did quite, it did pretty well actually. And uh, soon we're gonna be doing a low ESR capacitor shootout. But um, right now I just wanted to quickly pop this on because I wanted to see these that I got from Banggood and they are officially legit low ESR capacitors from Rubicon for a very good damn price. So next step is the 1000 microfarad low ESR capacitor and uh, I'll be picking some of those up. I'll leave a link down below if I didn't mention that. Yeah, I'll leave a link to that down below and this one also down below if you wanna go ahead and check them out. And uh, still by far, this seems to be the best uh, budget ESC. I've tested a couple so far and uh, we'll come back in a different video and then actually compare some bad ESCs and some good ESCs in our new testing setup here. But overall, it's a winner. Um, it, it will not hurt 20 cents extra to add to your quadcopter is a huge bonus. Uh, even if you didn't need it, even if your video feed was clean, add it just a small one i mean it'll really uh improve the, your overall quality of your quadcopter like for example let's just say 4s capable esc might with the motor you're running jumped up to 30 volts which could burn one of the mosfets by the way so if you had a low ASR capacitor that could just you know suck some of that up a little and uh reduce the overall voltage spikes into these mosfets and the other other components into your quadcopter so overall it's highly recommended you add a low ASR capacitor no matter what and um that's going to conclude it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you really thought it was awesome and it really helped someone out please consider joining my patreon help support this mission help support this channel keep going and uh you can also use the fill links down below i leave a link to everything down below what i think are the best things and uh, all the things that i'm testing i'll leave it linked down below uh if you could use those it would greatly support the channel any help goes an absolute long way and uh you know patreon you also get huge huge awesome giveaways bind and fly quads and just you know stuff that i get on the channel and you also get other things like secret access to my shop which gives you discounts and access to things that are not available for the public and i think that's it guys so that's gonna include it for this video guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you guys next time see you guys take care